Throughout Wichita Falls, homes are lit up with ver uh, various Christmas lights and decorations. If you haven't already had the chance to explore the many Christmas lights throughout Wichita Falls, there's one house you'll want to make sure you add to your list. Talia Bravo joins us now with this story. And Talia, what makes this house a must-see? Well, other than the fact that their yard, you can expect to see it all, it's also for a good cause. Today I spoke with Julie Williams Coley, the owner of this home, and how her lights are actually helping continue a legacy. For over 40 years since 1982, Christmas is a holiday that Julie Williams Coley looks forward to every year. Oh, we've loved doing it all these years. Um, back in the old days, when people used to actually go out and look at lights, we'd have cars lined up looking in our yard. We've had a merry-go-round, we've had a Ferris wheel, so we've had some, you know, big, as big as MSU items here in our yard. A long-standing tradition for Coley that four years ago, turned into more. I just four years ago decided, you know, it's time, let's do it, let's do a fundraiser. Because the the uh, Emily's Legacy and Pets both, which are rescues here in town, big rescues, and then there are others, others too, um, they really have trouble getting donations to help animals. And that's what it's all about, is to help them. The Tulip Fund could help even spay a couple of spay or neuter a couple of animals, it will keep the population down and do greatly. Coley says the problem of overpopulation of animals is a result to people not spading and neutering their pets. Her goal? To spay and neuter all of them. Hopefully, you know, it, we won't be reproducing as many cats and dogs. We have so many dogs running loose on the streets that, you know, it, it's just, it's horrible. And we just need to, to slow that down by spaying and neutering. This is our fourth year to do it. So um, we started out with a $500 goal, and then a six, and then a seven, which is last year. And then this year was eight, but a very, very, very giving couple has given us enough to make our $800 goal. So we're gonna move it to a thousand this year. All the funds go toward allowing every pet to have an equal opportunity. Emily's Legacy had created a fund called the Tulip Fund, and that fund helps animals, or, or actually people, who can't afford to get their pets vaccinated. And um, also, for some emergencies, the fund will help meet part of the goal that they need to, to raise enough money to have their pet looked at at pets. Williams, just shy of her goal, says that every dollar to help raise it to that $1,000 counts toward helping our community and the animals within. We appreciate any donation, whether it's $5 or $350. Um, we, we appreciate any and all. People that have been donating, I think are doing it to help me, but they're also doing it to help Emily's. So, um, you know, it's just great to know that we'll have that kind of money in the community to help out pets. Helping take care of those that are always there for us this holiday season. Collie will be taking donations up to Christmas Day this Sunday, so if you decide to take a stroll and look at lights around Wichita Falls, make sure you stop by Coley's before heading back home. Okay, Talia, thanks so much. I know we're going to have that address on our website. Now, if you don't have a chance to swing by, just check out all the ways you can help donate and help her reach her goal also on our website.